All right, first and foremost, I'm going to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baharaka Kadash. Yahweh is the name of the heavenly Abba, uh, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his son, our Lord and our Savior. We are the nation of Yahshua Allah, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the elect men, the hopeful elect men set up to teach the congregation of Israel. Shalom to the sincere Akwatim, uh, who listen, learn, who believe. Shalom to the sincere Ikim, pushing this truth and sincerity. You know, it's kind of messed up right there on the intro, but uh, it's all good. You know, that's it's authentic. You know, but um, the reason for making this. Uh, this particular video here is um, I'm getting remembrance of a particular dream or vision that I had last uh, or this morning or last night, whatever you want to call it. Um, and pretty much there was a lot of familiar faces, you know, from, from people that I've met uh, within my uh, short span of life that I've walked amongst the earth and there's a lot of familiar faces in there and uh some of them you know back when i was in the world you know or following the ways of the world more so um they were ambitious you know they were more ambitious or they had an idea on what they wanted to be and what they was going to go after uh but for some reason in within the the dream or vision uh they were like, you know, <laughs> specifically talking about the men. They were like, you know, thugs and, and bums. You know, they they just they didn't uh, have any aspirations but to be uh, a, a thug, you know, or, or I guess a gangster, a gangster here in America. You know, they didn't have any drive. But that's besides the point. Uh, as you see here on the screen, uh, my dream transitioned to the city, and uh, pretty much the, uh, on the sixth floor of this building. Wow, remember, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. On the sixth floor of this building, it was completely on fire, all right? And uh, the people, I believe, on the bottom and the, uh, the, the higher floors, the people were... You know, trying to escape. You know, of course, you had the fire department and everything out in the streets. You know, blocking the streets and lights going. You know, and it was it was a uh, nighttime setting. But uh, you know, what I wanted to take note from the from the dream is at that time, uh, people was throwing throwing people out of the building. You know, and then you know other people's from the lower balconies, you know, trying to catch children, you know, some of them were being caught, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and uh, stunt like everything was, was uh, going wrong, but still, the, nonetheless, the building was on fire and people was throwing uh, people from the higher balconies down for people to catch, you know, and, uh, you know, that, that was pretty... That, that stood out to me, so I felt like through the spirit I needed to make a video on that. Um, and I, I think uh, metaphorically, you know, basically, the, you know, the building could symbolize America um, in a way. And, uh, yeah, this place is a burning building, you know. And uh, I, I just say... Uh, if you don't know that America's uh, on fire or about to collapse by now, you know, then uh, <clears throat> you might want to uh, wake up, you know. So uh, let me get some precepts real quick. This place, uh, it starts spiritually, you know, this place is spiritually being consumed until the uh, actual nuclear missiles hit. So uh, Luke 12 and, and 49, I am come to send fire on the earth, 
what and what will I if it be already kindled? Okay. And uh, like I was going into uh, this place through the spirit is already being uh, prophesied that this place will burn. Okay. Babylon the Great. But we know that it's also prophecy that the nuclear missiles are going to hit this place and, and different various places around the world. And uh, also the Lord coming back, uh, Isaiah 66 and 15, you know, the Lord is going to be putting some fire on this place as well. You know, when he comes back with the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Israel. And uh, when you read on down, it goes into uh, verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay, or rather division. Okay? And that's how the Lord is coming back, you know? The Lord is not coming back to help this place. The Lord is not coming back to aid America or uh, uh, Babylon the Great, you know? He's coming back to uh, bring division, fire, you know, uh, and all the prophecies, you know, whether it be war, famine, pestilence, earthquakes, uproars of the people, uh, death, you know, the sword, all manner of, of these prophecies are going to come to pass in the process of the Lord coming back and when the Lord returns. His return in itself is prophecy. And he's coming back to add to the fire. He's coming back to burn this place as well as the nuclear missiles are dropping. And we just hope in the midst of that, we be a part of the hopeful elect to get beamed out of here. To obtain the mercies of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? So let's see uh, what else I got. I just want to bring out uh, that building was on fire, you know, and people were in it, you know. I, I was looking at the definitions here and, uh, and going into that fire, you know, it's a literal fire. It said literal or fig figurative, you know. You know, <clears throat> the men of the Lord, I say, are, are going through the furnace of adversity, you know. Uh, what does it say? Ecclesiastes 2 and 5. For uh, gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know, we've we got to face persecution. You know, all manner of wickedness in this world. But there is going to be a literal fire to come and hit this place. And consume this place. For all the wickedness that be done. Here in the midst, you know. We sign a crying uh, pertaining to Ezekiel 9 and 4. If I wanted to get that word earth, I looked, I took a peek into that. It says, uh, the ground, the earth as it stand, uh, as a standing place. And the third, the third definition I wanted to uh, get that. Uh, it says, uh, the mainland or opposed to the sea or water okay and we know to revelation uh seven and one the angels are signified to hurt hurt not the earth nor the sea so we have sealed uh let me see let me get it revelation seven and one i didn't know where the rakaka was gonna take this but this is where we at revelations seven and one sorry salakia i think i said eleven and one salakia for that it says and you see the title sealing the servants of God it's all about the elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai uh, the elect or Yahweh the heavenly fathers and, and the heavenly father Yahweh gave them to Yahweh Shai you know I believe that's around John the 14 15 16 chapter you know where, where the Lord said all of his is the, is the heavenly fathers you know it says uh, verse 1 and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea 
nor on any tree okay and we know pertain to uh is that jeremiah 51 and 1 How about Shemiah Shai is that destroying wind, you know, as it is written? Let me get that real quick and come back. But yeah, I've seen a lot of familiar faces within the vision, you know, people that I've grown up with. You know, I won't say no names, but they were, you know, somewhere in the building. And others, you know, the ones before my dream uh, transitioned to the burning building, you know, there were ones that were very ambitious who were in a dead state, you know, they were uh, dry bones, if you will, you know, they were, they were thugs, <laughs> or they were not, uh, they, they didn't receive the living waters, I say that. Jeremiah 51 and 1 Thus saith the Lord Behold I will rise up against Babylon This is talking about Babylon the Great Here in America And against them that dwell In the midst of them That rise up against me A destroying wind And what's that destroying wind That's gonna hit On this place When the missiles drop That destroying wind all right, Is gonna consume everything you know, it says, um, verse 2, and I will send unto Babylon fanners, and they shall fan her, and shall empty her, her land, for the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about, and all these other nations, they're going to shoot the missiles on this place, all right, they're going to shoot their missiles here on Babylon the Great. Okay, if you think about a fanner to the flame, it increases the flame. All right, I want to finish out that Revelation 7 and 1. Uh, Revelation 7. Seven and 2. It says, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all tribes of the children of Israel. And we know there's also great multitude. That will be saved, you know. Verse 9. After this, I beheld. Uh, let me see. We got traffic going on. Let's see what's going on. Uh, we got a lane blocked off. Get right. What they got going on? They got a detour. <clears throat> To lock it. I wasn't prepared for this. But, uh, I got an accident this morning. All right. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and tongues, uh, all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. All right. We know that that's plain, that's evident, you know, uh, that the elect, that's talking about the elect, all right, the ones who are going to be sealed, you know. Um, but the concerning all nations, uh, all nations, all kindreds, people, and tongues, we were scattered as a people, you know. We were scattered as a nation of Israel. We went into captivity. Look up the curses, Deuteronomy's. 28 and 64 uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 68 all right and uh, you know the spirits kind of taking it where it will right now but uh, just sticking to the dream you know the, 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 the building was on fire and 
And the ones who knew it was on fire, they were getting thrown out or, you know, trying to get rescued and caught as they're getting thrown out, you know, trying to save children, people from lower balconies trying to save. And uh, now that I'm saying that, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, whoever's uh, sleeping, you know, that fire that's on the sixth floor, I would assume the people are gone, you know, but uh, whoever's sleeping, they're going to get consumed by that fire. The ones who were alert, they were jumping ship. They were leaving the building, jumping out of the buildings, you know. And uh, that's, you know, kind of symbolic in itself uh, to Micah. That makes me think about Micah. Now, I ended on this. Well, that Micah 2 and 10. Arise, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you with a sore destruction. And just like that building was on fire, you're going to be consumed by that nuclear missile if you if you with this place, you know. It's not saying physically depart or leave a, a Babylon the Great, America, or whatever. Respect the places you are at. Because uh, we are scattered across the four corners of the earth. But the main judgment is going to be here in America. Okay. It's not saying just pack up and leave. It's saying spiritually. Uh, spiritually. Uh, uh, most Mostly uh, mentally. You know. We're leaving this place. We're not here. Our, our treasures. We, we're storing up treasures in the heavens. Okay. Uh, uh, it said where you're. Where you're. Uh. Where your heart is, there will your your um treasure be also, you know. So our minds is in the heavens, you know. And Lord will we be a part of that hopeful elect that we be in the heavens when the chariots come back and receive us. Uh but Lord willingness is edifying to the elect of the nation of Yashallah kinda ran it a little bit, uh, or rambled a little bit going into this. But uh, I hope it was edifying to the elect of the nation of Yashallah. And I say double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to sincere Akin pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom to the sincere Akwa to listen and learn. Shalom.